you guys. Hello, hello. We are on. Good. Whoops. Feeling all right from yesterday's uh, workout? Wow. I had to help. I helped Kenny move something. And it was like, oh, I feel all that. I feel it all. Here we go with our, um, that's not it. Check and see that our um, signal is good. Looks okay here. I don't know about you guys. Sometimes it gets fuzzy here and I wonder. That's okay. Who's here? Good morning. So, uh, warm up. So when you see 15 reps at the very beginning of a workout, that means you're just going through um, mobility drills, warm up, blood flow, whatever, you know? There we go. Um, I see a whole bunch of hellos there, but not here. Hi, Linda. It hasn't popped through. Um, it hasn't popped through there on the uh, computer yet. So, a uh, front raise. Just nice and easy. You might be doing this with no weight at all, no resistance at all, okay? If you have shoulder issues, you might be just going through motions without weight, all right? Good. I've got two, two bands, and these bands, I'm sure I got them at the dollar store. All right, so it's two of the lighter ones, and I use two so that I can get a, you know, an easier resistance. Fifteen. I'm getting 15 out and it's really challenging. Um, you might even actually do some rear delt flies just to make sure everything is working. And then a press overhead with bands is right there. set of that to do again if you choose to go through your second set with maybe like dumbbells or um, no weight at all just to go through the motion connect that brain to those muscles that we're going to be working Whew. five sets for the next one we're going 10 8 6 6 6 means heavy relative to your abilities okay so my heavy is it your heavy? And my heavy today might be different than my heavy last week. All right? Relative to how you're feeling today. Okay, let's finish up with this uh, warm up mobility set. Again, you're going to move in any way that makes sense to you. Um, perhaps the physiotherapist or chiropractor or your health professional suggested you do this. Um, give it a go. Reared up fine for me. Just wanted to check that position because I think we got some coming up. We should. Unless we did it on back there, I don't know. I can't remember right now how I handled that this week. Good. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. Um, press, strict press means I'm not going to use any of my body. We're going to be solid and it's the movement just coming from my shoulders. And then they're going to fatigue. At 10 reps, they're going to fatigue so much so that I have to use momentum. And that's called a push press. I'm pushing with the rest of my body, um, more metabolic, okay? M using more muscles to get that job done. So um, 10, oh, and maximum. So, you know, shoot for 10 and 10. And then for the eight, shoot for eight and eight. You might shoot for 10 all the way through this whole thing. And then your front raise is 12 reps. So I would suggest, um, I'm gonna grab these uh, fives for myself. And you decide, you might have threes. Threes might be reasonable, um, a reasonable expectation of yourself after the presses and the push press. Um, but again, you have a variety of weights. Make your decisions based on how you're feeling. So for my tens, I'm gonna go here. 10 reps, strict. Ten, and now my push press. Eight. Not gonna mess around with that one. No, I'm not. Push press, and then um, front raise. Twelve reps. You might be um, setting yourself up to do three sets, or two sets, or all five sets, right? We got eight, eight reps, and then push press for maximum reps. I thought I'd get eight, uh, ten out of it, I only got eight, so that's interesting. Some days you come, you come here feeling like Hercules, and other days it's kind of like, oh, let's just get through it. Right? That's human, humanness. Barely, barely got eight. Fair enough. I'm, I'm looking at this next six rep set. I'm looking at going up in weight and I have to understand that in this position, as you fatigue, you're gonna, you know, compensate. So you gotta watch your back. You gotta watch your core. You gotta watch everything, okay? Here it comes. Six rep set. Try for these. A little bit heavier weight. I have the option to go back down. I always have the option to go back down. All right. Six. Let's go. Son of a gun. 
I just switched my hand grip around a little bit for those push presses. It goes for 12. This might be your last set here. You could stretch or um, do a mobility drill for the shoulders or even your low back, right? Stretch. These last two sets are gonna be really challenging. All right, <laughs> not to mention the rest of the workout. Boy, our uh, delt days don't disappoint. <laughs> Six. One more. If it's time for you to take a break, if you're coming along with me, and if you've decided to keep the same weight, if you're easy like I am, be smart, okay? If you feel yourself going off a little bit, like I, I lose my balance here a bit with those push press, be careful. You know it's gonna be smarter. I am gonna go down. I'm gonna get more. I, I'm going down. And 12. Yeah. Interesting. You know, last week feeling very, very strong. But then the order of exercises matters, right? If you've pre-exhausted all the, the little muscles, the, the auxiliary muscles, your major, your big lifts are going to be harder. You're going to have to use less weight to get just as much out of them. So take it all with a grain of salt. Um, one and a half, so let's go all the way up. One, halfway down, there's one. Um, all the way up, halfway down, okay? So that's the one and a half. You could actually go um, halfway up, all the way up and down. But we're trying to hit the top end, uh, really focus on the upper area here. I think on, maybe it was Monday that we did the quarter lateral raise down here. So we're just going to switch it up a bit. Seated, standing, your choice. Lighter weights. Have, have a, access to um, several. And then your band, okay? I'm going to grab all of the bands. 
all of the bands. Sometimes sitting down here, your band will take, you know, you, you, you'll you get your band up here. If you're standing up, it's got a lot. All right, it just makes sense. Hmm. I'm gonna start with my fives, I don't know about you. These are tough. We've done them before. So six and six. One. Six. And then full range for six. Good, and then these are your lateral pulses with a band, up to you, standing, seated. Whew. Oh, I got 15. I always try for 15. I don't know. Sometimes I get to a point in my workout where my eyes start going, get heavy, tired, heavy. And I always just think that is my central nervous system trying to shut me down so I can't go on. So start noticing moments like that and what they mean how you feel, all right? I, I always work through that. Um, there's lots of stuff I won't work through, but um, especially if I'm feeling strong and, and most of my joints are feeling good, work through it, guys. Full range, one. Six. Remember, if you're starting back after, um, you know, a hiatus or um, you have been doing, you know, this for a long time, very little work will um, uh, positively affect you, all right? That's why it's so great to be a beginner. Love being a beginner. You don't have to do that much. You don't have to do that much. You do have to do it in good form, though. And 15 at the top. I like those. Yeah. That's the problem with beginners. Um, and I don't say that uh, disparagingly. Like, beginner, you're... You, we all begin. I begin a, different, a new program and I've been a beginner again. But when you're just starting and you don't know anything about weights, it takes very little to affect you. And you'll see results quickly. But you also potentially could harm yourself because... You know, I'm just thinking that I gotta do this and I gotta do that and I gotta do it like they do on Instagram and hurt yourself and then you hate yourself. <laughs> or you just get so uh, muscle soreness you won't come back. Or you're just not effective because you don't know yet. Your brain isn't connecting to the muscles yet. It's not your fault. You don't suck. You're just, you know, beginner, right? So you have to learn and do um, perfect form, basically. Well, moving towards perfect form. 
There's a lot of exercises that um, you just aren't going to be able to do it for a little while until your brain gets connected, right? It's kind of like kids trying to write within the lines. I mean, it's not going to happen until you practice. And then you get control of those little muscles. And your central nervous system jumps in and begins to understand the process. That's what weight training is. I, I don't know how many I was talking. I'm going to do this one more. And, oh, full range, sorry. If you shorten the lever by um, bending those, that arm a little bit, it's easier, okay? Long lever work is more difficult. Shorten the lever as you fatigue or drop the weight. My lip is up here like this. <laughs> oh. All right, we've, we've got one triple... S oh, no. A little cardio. Uh, one more superset. And it's no joke. <laughs> what was this? Oh, God. And 15, get rid of everything, you guys. We are on to clean and press. That's a one arm with a weight, clean and press. One, two, okay? So that's um, metabolic shoulder work plus cardiovascular. And then I think that's a rear delt fly. Yeah, O, W, W, which would be also you could do it on a reverse incline. You could do it with a slight bend forward. You could do it with a band. And just... I'm going to do it with a dumbbell. Dumbbell. Okay. I'm going to show you the reverse incline. Which is going to look like this. And I will use... 17 or 15 for my clean and press, right? And a reverse incline is here. Oh, W. Okay, so showing you this reverse incline if you have a adjustable bench and you have low back issues that you're working through, that you're trying to make stronger in um, uh, really defined moments of your training, okay? Yeah. You can't just come in and say, um, I'm working on my back when we're doing all this. You have to take the time and go through your back movements, but then when you're doing your other work, you have to support it, okay? You're not supporting it forever. You're just supporting it while you're doing all the other important work of your body. And then when it comes time to like, target your back for that specific injury, that's a whole separate time. Ready? W is gonna be right there. Got it? 12 and 12, clean and press. want to make you aware there's a lot of work going on for your low back here but um, the major focus is on legs so you're squatting 
and the momentum is pulling up. All right? If you're leaning down here and jerking it up with your back, you're asking for problems. All right? And that's just one small muscle group. For something like this, we want to use all the muscle groups, all the leg muscles, all the core muscles, and all the upper body muscles. Got it? Good. So, if you're unfamiliar, or if it doesn't feel right, or if that one feels like you're, you've got too much fat going on, right, and no knees bending, Google it. It's called the clean and press. Single thumbs up. Three. I can feel this one in my back. two sets of eight and eight. Fine, we can do that. You can either use this for your cardio or you can use this and do a Tabata. I think I'm gonna jump on that machine again today and uh, do Tabata with you. <laughs> those really, those really help the day after, the day after leg day, eh? <laughs> kind of limber them up again. If you're feeling that muscle soreness, it breaks up the pain, I think. Going up, I'm... Okay, W. Abbreviating mine. I'm just getting a little, uh, it's not a pinch, it's like a whatever up at the top in the middle. Hard to um, target if, <laughs> if the knot gets in there, it's going to be hard to get out. So I'm thinking ahead and saying, okay, let's mitigate the problem before it becomes a problem. All right, pay attention to all your signs and signals and messages from your body. here for the W's they can be just standing right here okay, I'll do that or I can just collapse those arms 
or I can take them out front and pull them back. This is what we call the face pull. If you're using a cable machine, face pull, and then you rotate your arms out. We got one more set of eight. Oh, don't rest on your laurels yet. Again, unless, you, unless you've made a prearranged strategy with yourself um, that you're gonna do so much, stretch, um, fuel up. job people all right we are moving to Tabata so clean up your weights prepare for skipping rowing treadmill um, step stepper elliptical you might even take this outside it's slippery out there today um, and do a nice walk, a slow jog, walk, slow jog. Um, Tabata, 20 sec seconds of intense activity um, and 10 seconds of uh, lower intensity. All right, I'm ready here. I need a sip. I'm gonna turn on our timer. We're good? Okay. All right. Mm. So, there we go. 20 seconds, 10 seconds, eight times is four minutes. Beautiful, right? Kick ass. Let's go. 20 seconds. I, I'm actually liking this for my shoulders today just to give them a little.
We got one more. We can do this. We got one more. So we just want to be done. I just sometimes just want to be done. <laughs> Let's go. This is it. <laughs> we are done. over my my devil the devil that's on my shoulder it says all right signing off you guys have a fantastic day friday arms woohoo we shall be together see ya